Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a truly wrist-slitting, droopily Dadaist essay in musical ennui and outrage at the same time. It's kind of fun to be boringly outrageous, right? Well, you know, it's the Beethoven Violin Concerto on the LSO label featuring it's not a, is it a debut recording? I don't know, but it's sort of close to one. Introducing German violinist Veronica Eberle with the, the uh, Sir Simon Rattle conducting, as the, though he wishes he were doing anything else, um, the London Symphony Orchestra. Now, the feature here, because you've got to have a gimmick. I mean, you've just got to have a gimmick. It's just, it's just inconceivable these days that you take a masterpiece like the Beethoven Violin Concerto and just play the living daylights out of it and turn in a completely respectful, sublime, magnificent, musically intelligent performance of it, right? No, you can't do that. You've got to have a gimmick. Well, here's the gimmick. The gimmick is... New Cadenzas by Jörg Wiedmann, the German composer who's very, very good composer, very capable composer, who writes, you know, music that's actually listenable. Um, and, and he has composed New Cadenzas. Lucky us. Here's the problem. And there is a problem. The problem is that with his cadenzas, all three of them, three extensive cadenzas, the performance lasts 52 minutes. Yes, you heard that right, friends. 52 minutes. The first movement is 26 minutes. The slow movement, the larghetto, which lasts in virtually every performance by everybody you've ever heard, about nine to 10 minutes. A couple minutes faster, actually, if it's like period instrument thing, you can go seven and a half to nine if you're like period -y. But nine, nine and a half minutes is where we are. Well, this one is 14 minutes and 23 seconds. That's a cadenza that's as long as the cadenza in like Shostakovich's Violin Concerto <laughs> or Cello Concerto. I mean, that's nuts. And then you've got a 12 minute finale. Um, so you, it all adds up to 52 fun-filled minutes. And the truth of the matter is these cadenzas, which are scored for violin, double bass, and timpani, are partly Beethoven's fault, of course, because he wrote that insane cadenza for the piano version of the violin concerto that uses timpani. And so everyone since then has said, oh, I can do that and I can add more things. And Wiedmann points out that the music is in his own personal style. He's not interested in Beethoven's style, um, which is okay, fine. We've heard that too. We have Schnitke's cadenzas, let's not forget, that Gideon Kramer championed for this concerto. So, so you know, painting mustaches on this particular Mona Lisa is nothing new, um, not at all. And, uh, you know, the result is just horrible. I mean, so actually, the cadenzas themselves are, are not bad. Wiedmann, you know, very sententiously notes that they are based on the melodies of the concerto. Well, duh, they are, they are cadenzas to this concerto. I mean, they are not independent works, but they could be. That's the point. If I were Wiedmann, what I would do is take these three cadenzas for violin, double bass, and timpani, an interesting combination, you must confess, and, and, and arrange them as an independent work and call it Fantasia on Beethoven's Violin Concerto for violin, double bass, and timpani. It's fine with me. I'd be interested. It's just don't, don't put them in this violin concerto. Now, a 52-minute Beethoven Violin Concerto would not be so horrible, um, would it not be for the fact that, that the performance is so boring. I mean, it, it was sponsored by, wait a minute, a special, special uh, kindly supported by the, the Felix Mauser Kultur Management and the, the Anja Fichte Stiftung. In other words, in other words, this was not the result of any inner need to record the Beethoven Violin Concerto on the part of the orchestra and the conductor. They were hired. They were hired as accompanists. And that's what they sound like. Uh, yes, I mean, Simon Rattle is Simon Rattle. You know, his conducting of the opening ritornello is kind of lumpish. 
um, and, 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 and phrasing, but, but he wants to get it over with. I mean, his tempos are pretty reasonable. The problem is that every time a, a Miss Eberle pops up, everything just slows down and dies. She has no ideas at all. This is one of the most mindless performances of the solo part I have ever heard. Her one idea is slow decrescendo. That is what she does. You know, the opening octaves come in and she's, you know, you, you wonder if they're going to make it to the top. You really do. And every time she has an entrance, she slows down and milks it to be expressive because slower is more expressive. Slower and softer and vaguer and, and you know, just on and on like that. And Rattle, Rattle's high, does what he's hired to do. He follows her. He just slows it down to nothing. And he lets her make a complete fool of herself, which she succeeds in doing quite, quite handily, in my humble opinion. I mean, there's just one thing after another like that. And in the Beethoven part, now the Wiedmann, it seems that's what she's really interested in doing. Why? Because of course, that gives her a chance to like let rip and show her ability as a virtuosa. And she has plenty of ability. Let's not kill ourselves. I mean, you know, or kid ourselves. Oh, no, I want to kill myself. Let's not kid ourselves. She can do it. She can do it very, very well. But boy, this is, this is so, so monotonous. It's just the whole concerto from the very opening ritornello onward, you know you're in trouble because it's not a function of tempo. It's a function of sustaining tension in a work which is for the most part, very lyrical and very quiet and very difficult to sustain tension wise. You know, it, it requires tremendous concentration from everybody. And then you've got these indigestible chunks of cadenza stuff that are, that could have come from somewhere else, even though they're based on the same tunes. I mean, who cares? What matters is that they're stylistically completely inappropriate and they upset the balance of form in every place where they appear because because, well, because they're just too big and too long and too, too elsewhere. And because the style is so different, and because she plays them so differently. I mean, this is just a giant indigestible chunk of, 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 of incompatible elements. That's what they are. They're incompatible. And so, well, here you go. Um, just another waste of time. And, and to waste your time even further, there is an, a bonus. <laughs> I mean, after 52 minutes, I, I mean, seriously, I, I am not kidding. I put this on and immediately fell asleep. I didn't even get through the opening ritornello. So I had to try again. So the second time I got, I woke up and something was going on that had tunes from the Beethoven, but I had no idea what it was. It was the final cadenza in the finale, I looked at my, my timing and said, okay, I'm in the third movement. But I got through the first movement the second time through. So I started again with the Larghetto and listened through to the end. It took me three times to get through this performance. And then came the bonus. The bonus is a fragment from Beethoven's Violin Concerto in C major without opus number, Werk ohne Opus Zahl, number fünf. Um, it's eight minutes of incomplete stuff of no interesting anything. It just shows that in 1790 or so, which is when Beethoven worked on this, he had very little idea of what to do with concerto form because the Ritornello modulates with gay insouciance through a series of keys and harmonies that give you absolutely no concept that you're in a concerto or what it's doing or why it's doing it to show you that Beethoven was really not a very good composer in 1790. This is interesting. And, you know, he was right to quit after eight minutes. Completely right. I mean, there aren't many performances of this. So, you know, uh, maybe maybe you'll, you'll care for that. It doesn't have Wiedemann's cadenzas. That's a, that's a bonus of a sort. And it's played with um, a lot less um, self-conscious um, effort at sublimity, which is only a good thing. And I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I do know what to tell you. In fact, for the past 10 minutes, I've been telling you. 
And now I'm done telling you. This is a bow wow, a woof, a snooze fest, and an ugly snooze fest, and an, an a stylistically inappropriate snooze fest. And I, okay, it's done. We're done. We're done. Absolutely done. That was my cadenza. Call it that. Keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.